Columbia delivered the first investment plan under the Renewable Energy, Energy Integration Program, and it really shows us the possibilities that this program can uh, provide. This investment, this investment are, are going to help us uh, bring and, and leverage a lot more capital uh, coming from private funds and, and, and public funds uh, to help us do this just energy transition involving all the stakeholders in the country. The Renewable Energy Integration Program was designed to help fill a gap in the energy space. Renewables have a lot of momentum in many countries around the world. They're the cheapest source of, of new energy. The issue is that many countries, most countries, have grids and energy systems that were built with fossil fuel assets as the foundation. And now as we move to renewables, those grids need to be updated. They need different types of technologies, they need different types of management and, they, and management, and they might need new infrastructure as well. So that was a gap in the international climate finance space that REI was built to fill. The Renewal Energy Integration Program, uh, it's an effort to make sure that we are moving towards a just energy transition path. We started in 2014 with the Renewal Energy Law, and from that point, we've added a uh, significant amount of renewable energy capacity into the system. What we're doing now, we're just making sure that it's, this is just not a technical transition, but that it's also a, a just energy transition where we can include all the communities of all the, where the projects are being developed, how they're included in, with this new project and how can they can benefit from them. Colombia CFRA IP was approved in February 2023 and will support four main type of projects that are aligned with the country's energy transition roadmap. The first one is rural electrification projects using non-conventional renewable energy. The second one is grid infrastructure enabling the integration of non-conventional renewable energy technologies, such as transmission lines, advanced metering infrastructure, and energy storage solutions. The third one is the electrification of the transport sector by providing financing to charging infrastructure and electric vehicle fleets. And the fourth one is to support the deployment of non-conventional uh, renewable energy-based technologies such as green hydrogen and uh, offshore wind projects. 